my man. I'm so excited. As you can see, you know, a uh, huge fan. But I, I, I gotta know something, man. What is the worst Jordan, in your opinion? Like, the one that you were like, Ugh. you know, uh, that, that, we uh -huh. have to put that at the bottom of the list, in your opinion, style-wise. The 15. Really? Yeah. And I'll tell you that, you know, it was t toward the end of when I wanted to stop doing Jordans for a while, at least, and um, I just don't think I brought that baby home <laughs> quite right. I like I think the honesty, though. The, like the, the concept was good, and, and it was sort of modern, and, and uh, it was meant to represent the way his, his tongue hangs out, and the tongue of the shoe was Sure. It was, a little, it was a little clunky, right? Kind of clunky on purpose, um, that, but... It, all concepts are worthless if you don't follow through and execute. And, see and it, I yes. think I was literally worn out at that point in time. So I just don't think I brought it home quite. Best. The, way it should have been. Best. Best. the one that like holds your, is in your spirit and soul and you're like, that's my baby. You know, I think the Jordan 11 will always be the number one for me because they told me to stop. Nike <laughs> said, no more Jordans, Michael's not playing. And I begged it to differ and kept it going even under threat of, uh, <laughs> of some kind of punishment. <laughs> you, you were like, no, I, this is I going. Said, no, I'm going to keep doing it. And even though I had to track him down, uh, you know, while he was playing minor league baseball, um, I felt it was worth it. And, and he really appreciated that I uh, sort of stuck it out and did some, did some what I thought my very best work.